Hey everyone, and welcome back to Sino's Story Quest Act 2. In the first part, we uh, met up with Sino, who was on a work mission to find someone who sent a threat letter to a character called Cyrus, and we found someone, and he instantly found the guy who did it, and he's been reprimanded. Uh, although I feel like it's much bigger than it is. Um, when we left off with a meal, we were having a meal with Cyrus, Tainari, Kole, and ourselves, and we bumped into Kave. Let's see what happens in this part, whether it's going to go down in this part, or whether it's going to go down in part three. I don't know. Let's jump into it. I'm Gassetta. Let's head to the southeast of Gundarvaville and meet up with the others. What jokes are we saying now? Oh. Yeah. I'd say we're right about on schedule, actually. We were aiming to have them set up before you arrived. You do. Traveler, Pylon, let's go fishing together. Whatever we catch, we can grill for dinner tonight. You got it! Dinner's oh. on us tonight! <laughs> nice. Pylon's gonna catch a little minnow, isn't she? <laughs> I hope I can contribute, too. The other forest watchers gave me some fishing tips a little while ago. I'm really looking forward to giving them a try. Oh, nice. Let's go. Tainari. I saw some very Aww. appetizing mushrooms in the area, so I gathered a few for us. I'll leave them here along with some fresh fruit. And you made sure they weren't poison us? Wow, camping with the forest watcher is the way to go. They think of everything. And even if they don't, they can improvise! This is true. I don't think I've ever had a single rough day in this forest. So? How has everything been going for you? Hmm. Well, there's been some high points and low points, but we've had some unforgettable experiences along the way. I see. Oh, yes. Well, in that case, you should try a Valberry. I bought some from the market this morning. A valuable suggestion. Just don't bury your feelings using food. <clears throat> His eyes, yeah, that's my uh, reaction to. All I wanted was to recommend something bittersweet. Oh, I have a sudden craving for fruit tea. I'm gonna go fetch some stuff. Bye! Uh, okay. She sure made a rush. Yeah. She made a run for it. She made a run for it. Hmm. So Kale chose the path of tactical retreat. Could it be she foresaw what shall soon come to pass? My dear friend, you know what I am about to say. <laughs> Excellent. A kindred spirit. <laughs> but it looks like we'll get told off if we start playing now. Let's enjoy the nature for a while longer. <laughs> Tainari's that. Tainari's that. I... Did Kale get her fruit tea? Birds chirping away at a soothing sound of running water. This is nice. No agenda. Just relax and enjoy myself. How long will this last? Ah, we got a bite! Oh. I'll reel it in. What? A frog? Is that a frog? That's a frog. A little frog. Look at him go. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Mm. Firewood, spices, snacks, and drinks. Everything's ready. Once Kale gets back, we can light up the fire and start grilling. Nice. Oh, how many days have gone by? <laughs> Let her days were going past. Like, have we got stuff to do? <laughs> this is so relaxing. It's just so nice to go camping with friends. There are three tents. Which one do you two want to take? 
Do we get to choose? Hmm. How about the one on the left? No, we don't. Whatever uh, Pokemon says. just thinks the ambiance here is a little better. Dude. Frog. Oh my god. Someone pick up that damn frog. Hmm. True. But it's also the closest to the water. If there are any sleepwalking fungi around tonight, they might stumble into your tent. Hmm. Well, that's no good. Take my weapon. Okay. You can use it to bar the entrance. Anyone would think you were sealing the gates to King Deshret's mausoleum. Excellent. Then this tent will be an impenetrable fortress. Gosh, Sino is just so. How's your appetites? Ready for the barbecue? Always. <laughs> I was like, yes. <laughs> Give me the food. Food, 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 food. It seems like they were eating five minutes. Oh, it smells so good. Paimon's drooling. Drooling. Someone sure is desperate to eat. Hmm. I think it's time to add the seasoning. How do you like your skewers? Well done? Medium? Rare? Wait, Medium. What? Isn't that just for steaks? Hey, if it works for steak, maybe it works for other things too. Just not chicken. Please don't have medium rare chicken. Okay. Medium well for me. Okay. These are about ready now then. It'll be a few more minutes for anyone who wants theirs well done. Well, I'm gonna dig in. Everyone wolfs down that delicious food. Oh, that mm. was so delicious. If Paimon's stomach had space, she'd eat three more skewers. I ate a lot too. Bray, you l oh, here comes the food coma. If you're tired, then go rest. You must be getting sleepy too, Paimon. Why don't you guys head to your tents? Sino and I will clean up. Tonight I show you mercy. Our sacred duel will take place another day. <laughs> Good night. Night, Carly. Don't let the doctors buy it. <clears throat> that was too far. Paimon struggling to keep her eyes open. <laughs> She's like, hey, Paimon, have I got hairs on my arm? <laughs> that frog. Someone pick up that damn oh, frog. Don't forget this. The staff of the Scarlet Sands. What? What is this? Why, why is she screaming? Why Wait, is she... you're actually being serious about that? It's a very powerful weapon. Try it. Paimon can't even lift that thing. Fair enough. You sure you don't want it? Yeah, Paimon sure. We'll be fine. And even if we do get an uninvited guest in the night, Paimon will be here to take care of the traveler. What, by massaging my arm, my massaging my shoulders after I defeat it? Let's not forget I have my own trusty <laughs> sword. That reminds me of a parting king of invocations. I, oh, I'll tell you about it tomorrow. But right now, it's time to rest. Good night. Are we going in the tent with the frog? <laughs> this camping trip has really relaxed me. I'm gonna sleep like a baby tonight. Oh, why is it doing that? In a piece of trunk of the forest, nature's warm rays lulls you into a restful sleep. Oh cool, so we just slept. Nice. Thought something was gonna go down. I think they should all be here. Uh, Traveller? Paimon? Are you in there? Could you come outside for a sec? Hey yo! It's El it's Simkave and that <coughs> oh hi oh hey some. Now look at this. What the, what's this sword doing here? Is it supposed to keep out intruders? Evidently. Uh, what? Who is it? Oh, what time do you call this? <gasps> I'm gonna take out the sword. Yeah! Oh, hey, them, Kabe. What are you doing here? It's the middle of the night. Huh? Why did they come all the way Sorry to wake you up at this hour of the night, but we've got a situation on our hands. Have you got coffee beans? Let's get dressed and talk about it outside. Hmm. 
Why are we so weird? Something has come up. And since it pertains to Cyrus and Sino, I deemed it essential to inform you all. Oh, really? Whoa, whoa, back up. Uh, let's start from the beginning. Huh? Where'd the wine cups go? I could have sworn I left them here after I washed them. Ah, there they are. I'll have a cup. Oh, they're having some. Can you see if the cookies are still on the table? They are. And so are the fruits. Hmm. No, oh, this is so bland. I should have gotten a few bottles of what Sino's group was drinking last night. Do tell. What were they drinking? Oh, right. I forgot to mention. So, I ran into Cyrus yesterday evening when I went to the tavern to pick up some things. He was hosting a dinner for Sino, Tainari, Kale, and the Traveler and Paimon. Anyway, they got a bottle of Lombard's new vintage for the table. At least, I think that's what it was. It looked pretty good. Hmm. Sounds like they're all tangled up in this. You know what it's about, right? Sixteen-year-old kid tried to extort Cyrus. He was asking for ten million mora. I heard some people talking about it on the streets, yes. Didn't take them long to catch the culprit. The sages are probably dealing with the case by now. <sighs> I wonder what Sir Nephis and the others will make of it. Oh, Cyrus showed me the extortion letter, too. It was crudely written, but the paper had this beautiful pattern on it that I've never seen before. Really caught my eye. Uh, give me a sec, I'll sketch it out for you. Is that like tomb drawing, right? Okay, done. He's take a look. He's constantly reading that man. You see what I mean? I don't think I've ever seen writing paper like this around before. God knows where the culprit got it from. Hmm. Interesting. These are all motifs associated with the tribes of the desert. What? Really? Take this for instance. Looks like an outline of a spire, similar to the kind found on some ancient palaces. And the crisscrossing and mirroring here. I recognize that too. It bears a striking resemblance to an ancient emblem. One that hasn't been used in a very long time. Whose emblem is it? It's the emblem of the Temple of Silence. After discussing it with each other, we both agreed that something didn't feel right. So we went looking for you. This was a long way to come from the city. Alhatham figured you were probably with Tainari, so Gandarvaville was our first stop. But the Forest Watchers told us that you'd gone camping. Then, just as we were heading off to the campsite, we ran into Sino. He said he was on a supply run. We exchanged a few words, and then he ran off. Uh, hold on, so what's the deal with that emblem you were talking about? The Temple of Silence, you said? Yeah. What is that, January? <clears throat> is everything okay? Give me a second. Let me get Kale. She's probably out for the count, dude. Poor thing. <laughs> so you've never heard of the Temple of Silence? Hmm. Well, to put it simply, it's an organization that has existed in Sumeru for over a thousand years. These <clears throat> days, you can find a Temple of Silence office in the Academia. Theoretically, it's responsible for the custody and disposal of information and documents not fit for public dissemination. At least, that's what they tell the outside world. In truth, it's essentially a vestigial institution nowadays. There's an office with their name on it, but it's functionally obsolete. Historically speaking, the original Temple of Silence is said to have been established by Hermanubis, one of the seven pillars of Her the Her and the greatest of all sages. Most of the organization's okay. members hailed from the desert. By contrast, none of the Academia Temple's current members are from the desert region. Nor do they use any symbols connected with the desert folk. So the Temple of Silence at the Academia is just a fake? Wow. It's possible. The real question is, why? My guess is, they're covering something up. The Temple of Silence? So, how do you know all this? Sounds like some pretty top secret stuff. Did well, you he forget? Scribe. He did a stint as acting Grand Sage and kept the pay raise even after he resigned. Oh, yeah! 
Gross for human. So you took the chance to read all the top secret documents while you were acting Grand Sage, huh? If you're asking me whether I familiarized myself with the documentation in my office, I would respond that that's a perfectly normal part of any job. So much about this doesn't make sense. Why did the emblem of the Temple of Silence appear on a threat letter from an academia student to Cyrus? They're actually not arguing. They're actually spending five minutes without arguing, which is great. Which is Stuart's great. Stuart's only 16 and doesn't have any family ties to the desert. So where could he have seen that emblem or gotten the paper? You said you ran into Sino, yes? Did you tell him what you've just told us? Yep. He ran off as soon as he heard what we said. Given that Cyrus is involved, he's probably halfway through solving the case by now. Hmm. Still, we should try to catch up with him. At this hour of the night, Sino will probably go looking for Cyrus at his current residence. Hmm. If the Academia's Temple of Silence really does exist just to cover up the truth, the sudden appearance of this emblem can't be good. It's sure to stir up trouble. We should pay a visit to the Academia. Yes. As the Sage of Amorta, my master ought to know the truth about their office. <laughs> you can ask fire. him to tell you what he knows. <laughs> the more information we have, the better prepared we'll be for whatever happens there. If this situation is connected to the real Temple of Silence, the emblem has to be part of a bigger conspiracy. Kale, could I trouble you to send a message to the Corps of Thirty? Tell them to keep an eye out for Sino and Cyrus. Traveler, Paimon, you two come with me. We'll go after Sino. Sounds like a plan. Let's go. Yes, sir. Cyrus We're gonna go find your lately. boy. He rented a place near the field so we can keep an eye on his tomato plants. And let's go look for him there. Where have Here we are. This is the place. Huh, oh, it's got quite a cute little late. house. Looks like nobody's home. Oh, Sino moves fast. If he was here, he's probably long gone by now. I know that voice. Is that Tainari I hear? Sahahadi. Ah. Professor Sahahadi. Wow. Oh. So it really is you. My goodness. Whatever is going on tonight? We're looking for Sino. So, he's already been here. Yes, not long ago, in fact. He knocked on my door and asked if I'd seen Cyrus today at all. I told him the old fool left early this morning, and I hadn't heard him come back. So we went to his place, and would you believe it? He's gone. Goodness knows where to. It must have alarmed Sino, because he took off in an awful hurry after that. He never did explain what this was all about. Oh, how serious is it? Well, if Cyrus isn't at home... Oh, it sure doesn't sound good. No. Professor, did you hear I that a knew student they recently the right tried girl. to extort Cyrus? Right person. Why, yes, I could tell something nope. was troubling him, but didn't he escape. wouldn't tell me what it was. If Sino hadn't happened to visit him that day, he'd probably still be holding on to that thing. After seeing the letter, Sino told him to contact the Corps of Thirty, but Cyrus was very reluctant. He claimed it would only damage his reputation. Eventually, he relented, after much persuasion from Sino. Huh? Cyrus didn't want to report it? Well, that's strange. When we saw him, he seemed pretty okay with the idea of the kid getting his just desserts. As a former sage, it's possible Cyrus still has enemies at the Academia. That's why Sino was so insistent that he reported the Cyrus is in or something. I was there while they were going back and forth over it. So Cyrus initially hoped to stop this from going public. But why? He only reported it because Sino forced him to, which means Cyrus must know something about the oh, Temple of Silence. Oh dear. What on earth has that old fool gotten himself wrapped up in? Well, I do hope he's not in danger. Oh, I almost forgot. Sino left me this letter to pass on to you. He wrote it when he came by earlier. He realized you might come looking for him. Thank you. What does it say? Let Paimon take a look! 
My friends, this is rather complicated. This is a rather complicated state of affair. Unfortunately, I cannot disclose more than that. I ask you to understand and accept that I had to act alone at this stage. Don't come after me. My friends. <sighs> yep, yeah. that sounds like Sino. Thank you, Professor. Please do not worry. We will do all we can to protect both Sino and Sino. We're gonna go after him, aren't we? Traveler, Paimon. Can we not just Let's stay? Let's the academia and regroup. I thought we were gonna go after Sino. That's what we said, right? Carlo. Hey, boy. I know how you come. You're here? I thought you were going after... Ah, I guess you lost their trail. We went to Cyrus's house. No one was there. Sino got there before us, but he was long gone by the time we arrived. He didn't say where he was going? No. He left us a letter and told us not to go after him. Sino shares what you learned with Zaha Can't say from Zaha Hadi. <sighs> Typical Sino. Anyway, some updates on progress on our end. I drew the emblem from memory again, but in more detail this time. It looks like a temple. Like the entrance to a temple. That's what I see. Like the entrance right like here. Like that's what I see. I checked some ancient texts for a similar design. The one I found was a little blurry. But the similarities in the general form and certain details were clear enough to confirm a match. Yeah, and we're lucky we found anything at all. It turns out the emblem was all but lost to history. We scoured the entire Academia collection, and that book was the only one with a record of the motif. Meanwhile, Arav managed to get Uraka to disclose his source. The one who told him about Cyrus's embezzled funds was a young man from the desert. According to Uraka, he had a striking presence and was well educated. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Is that a certain. Uh, I know who that is. Apparently, the two met in the town you know, over you know. a game of cards. The guy claimed to be in the city for business as part of a merchant caravan. Uraka was intrigued when he heard what his new acquaintance had to say and brought up the idea of extorting Cyrus for Mora. The guy encouraged him to go ahead with it, then handed him some pen and paper to write the letter. I see. So it could be that this person planted the paper intentionally. So, how do we find this guy? He doesn't know. He claims not to have seen him since that day in the tavern. The man gave him some tips on how to carry out the extortion, but from then on, Uraka was acting alone. Nephis and Arab have gone to meet the Court of Thirty and review the city's entry and exit records. Also, Nephis admitted that the Temple of Silence in the Academia is just a facade. The true Temple of Silence once came to the Rainforest to establish a collaboration with the Academia. But, as time went by, the sages gradually became corrupt and foolish. The Temple of Silence felt that they could no longer trust the Academia and ended the partnership. They retreated back to the desert about 400 years ago. Ever since its inception, the Temple of Silence has been the guardians of King Deshret's civilization and belief system. They traveled throughout Sumeru, sequestering and guarding mm. any wisdom that posed a threat to the people's livelihoods. At its roots, it was a legitimate and reputable organization whose purpose was to guide people towards the right path. The academia of the day knew that the split would damage their reputation if it became a matter of public knowledge. And so, they set up a dummy organization of their own to conceal the truth. Not only that, but they managed to keep up the charade for hundreds of years! So how did Cyrus become acquainted with the true Temple of Silence if they left centuries ago? I'll bet that's the question that bothered Sino. Probably why he went after him in such a rush. Whoever is behind this, getting Uraga to extort Cyrus was only the first step of the plan. Their true goal in doing so was for Cyrus to see the emblem on the letter. He must have recognized it right away. That'll be why he didn't want to involve the authorities. He probably hoped to take care of the whole thing by himself. Unfortunately for him, Sino had other plans. Since the desert is where the Temple of Silence originated, that is in all likelihood where Cyrus went. I have to go after him. Really? Are you sure that's a good idea with how you respond to the heat? But why don't we send someone else? <laughs> That's true. Bit of heat in here is like, I'm dead. I or, should I'm be dead. fine, <laughs> as long as I bring plenty of water. Besides, I just can't shake this ominous feeling that if we don't catch up to them soon... Everyone, I have news from the core of 30. Master! Oh, 
Oh, so that's Nefis, Tainari's master? Oh, we're finally getting to meet him in person. Well, that's cool. Hello. Pleasure to meet you, Traveler and Paimon. Several independent eyewitnesses have reported seeing Cyrus and Mahamatra Sino leaving the city at different times. Both were heading in the direction of Caravan Rebot. I was going to suggest that you join forces with the Corps of Thirty in this case. However, as I'm sure you've already heard from Al Haytham and Kave, the Temple of Silence is involved. The Academia has made yep. a number of decisions throughout history that I am ashamed to talk about. It may well be that no better choice was available to them, but those actions are nonetheless a stain on our legacy. I won't attempt to make you understand the Academia's perspective. Now is the time for action. I understand where you're coming from, Master. But I'm afraid the situation might be more complicated than we thought. I think we need to keep a low profile or risk making things worse. Good point. If Cyrus is involved with the other side, or worse, if he's fallen into their hands, and... Uh, everyone, we have to get Cyrus and Sino back safely. We cannot afford to lose them. A lot of red yeah. flags here. Whatever you need, Cyrus we got you is a huge walking red flag Beauty. right now. Wonderful. You have my most sincere gr Arav and I will continue to follow uh. up on the lead from Uraka. Kave, scribe Al Haytham, I'd like to ask you to cover the duties of the House of Dana. Tainari, you are planning to go into the desert, correct? I am. Kave, I'll be okay. You stay behind to help Master and Al Haytham. Well, if you're sure. Okay. But <laughs> well, be you're sure. Thank you all. Arav, Just take water, go. Tanari, please. Just take You'd plenty of moving. water. Don't forget to ask for help when you need it. Will do. Let's go, Tanari. Hopefully, we can catch up with Sino before it's too late. Knowing him, he's probably covered a fair distance already. But we still have a shot. Let's take it. Okay, we made it to Caravan <laughs> The trail. Where should we go next? Hmm, maybe we should ask the nearby guards if they've seen anything. Hold on. Look over there. Is that oh. Dia? Dia! Mm, you sure you want to brave the desert alone? I mean, it's your choice at the end of the day, but still. It's not my first time. I'll be fine. Sino. If you're really going to go through with this, then at least take our advice. When you're packing for your trip, budget for five days more than you plan to spend out there. Makes sense. Okay, I'll go get ready. Thought we might find Ooh. you here. You're trying to retrace Cyrus's steps, aren't you? <sighs> Didn't I tell you not to come after me? I thought <laughs> I had a good lead on you. Well, sorry, but we never agreed to that. Why would you go off on your own like this? Nothing personal. True. It's just a complex situation. And I'd rather not involve anyone else if I can help it. <laughs> Takes a special kind of person to get Sino chasing them all the way out to Caravan Rebot. But why so coy today, huh? You only gave us his age and description. Why can't you reveal his name? Is he Sumeru's most wanted or something? Oh, also, hey guys, it's been a while. Hey, hey Dan! So nice to see you. Actually, seeing all of our friends is the whole reason we're here. You're looking well. Glad to see it. Thanks. And I came to Caravan yeah. Rebot on business. Yeah, no, we you too. I know as he was asking about some elderly gentleman's whereabouts. Some people say they saw him. <laughs> Guess he stood out as an older guy heading into the desert alone with just a sumpter beast in tow and very few supplies. That's got to be one heck of a story there. Sino, it's okay if you can't tell us anything about the case. But let us know how we can support you. We're here to help however you need. The more people we have working on this, the quicker we'll be able to find the person you seek. That is very true. In more hands, it's less work for everyone and faster no, work. No, it's not that simple. If I'm right, he'll be doing everything he can to avoid us. We spoke with Zaha Hadi. From what she said, Zaha it's Hadi. pretty clear that he wants to try to name on his own. It won't be easy trying to find him in the desert when he's deliberately trying to cover his tracks. Sounds like this is far more complex than we imagined. Still, if he started from Caravan Rebot, 
The chances are that his route took him past Aru village. You may as well ask if anyone there has seen him. <sighs> My thanks to you both. Once this is resolved, I will find a way to repay you. Ah, uh, come on. No need to get all serious. Just buy a round of drinks next time we're all in the city or something. <laughs> yeah, good deal. idea. All right. So, you all set? Yes. We'll handle it from here. All right. Then we'll leave you to it. Just remember, if you change your mind and need some reinforcements, we'll be here. And don't think you'd be imposing. You can depend on us. Don't worry, we'll keep him out of trouble. Hold nice. on. There's a few things I'd like to clear up. <sighs> Go on. So, after you left the campsite, we had a longer talk. Hmm. Clearly, we've only scratched the surface of the Temple of Silence question. It doesn't surprise me at all that the one in the Academia is a fake. Do you have any connection with the Temple of Silence? <sighs> I do. I trust you're all aware of the spirit that gives me my power. Herman Nubis, the original founder of the Temple of Silence. Due to my oh, cool. okay. constitution, I was put through a number of trials in the desert when I was younger. Later, I met the professor. And he brought me to Sumeru City. But my memory of that time is hazy. I can't recall much. It's a good thing that Kave noticed the emblem on the letter. Without that, I don't know if we would have connected the dots and realized there was more to this case than mere extortion. I did not recognize that symbol at all. Whether that's because I've never seen it or because my memory fails me, it's hard to say. Yeah, you're right. Thank goodness for Kave and for all Haytham's diligence during his time as acting Grand Sage. But Cyrus must have recognized it right away, right? Otherwise, he wouldn't have had any qualms about you reporting it. Oh, maybe his connection to the Temple of Silence goes even deeper than yours. I suspect so, too. The professor has never once mentioned the Temple of Silence in conversation. Okay. And whenever the conversation turns to Hermanubis, and the concept of spirit indwelling. He avoids going into any depth. Well, mm. speaking of avoiding things... This type of silence you do realize, seems don't you, really now that deep. we caught up with you, you're stuck with us for the rest of the way. <sighs> I am aware. And I have accepted it. <laughs> or rather, <Good> boy. <laughs> I don't see how I could manage to ditch you on route. So, I might as well accept that you're coming with me. That's right! Is we're coming with you whether you like it or not. So the best option now is to try to look out for each other. <laughs> you can't get rid of us. Then at least let me buy you a drink once we're back in the city. Works for me. All right, off we go. Let's start by seeing what the guards here can tell us. <laughs> Hello. Mahamatra Sino? I'm looking for someone. So I'd like to confirm any recent foot traffic in and out of Aru village. Find the Cyrus's parents' hmm. provisions. A man matching that description passed by Aru village not too long ago. He stopped by to load up on food and water and feed his sumter beast. Then he was on his way. Where was he going? Let me think. He took a seat by the entrance of the village for a while and had a brief chat with the person who came to deliver the water. Now he said he was headed... somewhere near an oasis. But he didn't mention which one. Do you have a map? I can mark out the direction he was heading in the best routes to any nearby oases. I have one. Mark away. Great. <laughs> Tainari has a map. Of course he does. It's a good job, really. Imagine if we didn't have a map. We would be screwed. There you go. Thank you so much. You were a great help. You had a really good memory. Ah, you're quite welcome. Just doing my job. Best of luck. I hope you find him soon. Hold on. I see some people over there. 
Oh. Do you think it's safe to ask them what they know? Should be. I'll go. No. I'll do it. Bro just shut him up. He was like, nah. Huh? <laughs> He's fuming. Look at them. What difference does it make? Given my background, appearance, and the way I dress, I might not be the most welcome visitor here. Just in case, it's probably better to let a more neutral party handle things. Ah, hello oh. there. I hope I'm not interrupting. My friend and I are looking for an elderly man who's gone missing around these parts. Any chance I could ask you a couple of questions? Oh, a missing person, huh? Sure, sure, sure. What do you want to know? I'm just wondering if you've seen him. Let me give you the details. Oh, don't attack him. Don't attack Dainari, so, please. A silver haired guy in a long robe, culture type with thoughtful eyes, and he's traveling alone. He'd stand out like a sore thumb around here. Yeah, sounds like the kind of guy we'd remember if we saw him. Oh, he's interested in Zyno. He's interested in Zyno. Oh, he don't like Sino. He doesn't like Sino. He doesn't like Sino, does he? Hair stands out a lot too. Oh yeah, his ears aren't much bigger than his. Like, chill. Oh, Sino's like. <laughs> hey, aren't you Sino, the General Mahamatra? Yes, that's me. You don't seem surprised that I recognized you. It wouldn't be the first time. Oh, you're the one looking for the old man who's gone missing, aren't you? I have a bad feeling about this guy. <laughs> Someone's on edge. You don't trust me much, do you? We love a shock, King. We love shock. No need to hide it. I understand why you're wary of us. Still, you came to us asking for help. Do you want it or not? I thought you were a group of merchants. Seems I was mistaken. <laughs> Your henchmen don't look like much. But something tells me they put up a better fight than most mercenaries. <laughs> your henchmen don't look like much. Bruh, you're wrecking hey, him. Hey, hear that, guys? You're my henchmen now. Suits me. As long as I get paid for it. Just cut to the chase already. I'm running out of patience. Then get some more. <sighs> all right, all right, all right. Come with me. All of you. Don't you want to find your friend? Silver-haired, long-robed, culture type with thoughtful eyes? <laughs> Sounds like there's a whole other side to Cyrus I didn't know about. So you know where he is? Just follow me. I'll take you to him. Oof. Oh! Oh! Sh oh. On that note, <laughs> I'm gonna leave this second part here. I hope you all enjoyed this part. This part was really interesting, a lot more interesting. I knew we were gonna meet Sethos at some point. That's Sethos, by the way. Um, I know because he was strip marketed on Genshin Impact's Instagram, so. But I'm so excited to see what's going down. The third part will be interesting because we're following him to go see Cyrus and I hope there's a good cutscene. Every story quest has had a cutscene so far, so there better be another one. <laughs> anyway, if you guys enjoyed this part, stay tuned for the third part. And if you haven't watched the first part, it's on my channel. Leave a like if you enjoyed this, subscribe for more content and stay notified and turn notifications on if you would like to. Um, and yeah, I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.